Hello and welcome. In this month's product update, we have improved the calendar view of the pricing dashboard. The calendar, which allows you to view the availability and pricing of each of your listings on a day-by-day -day basis, is one of the most widely used features of Price Lab's dynamic pricing. We've integrated new key information into this calendar to simplify your tasks, save you time, and assist you in making informed pricing decisions. Let's go over the changes. So here we are on the calendar view in pricing dashboard for a property. It is helpful to look at the calendar view from two different perspectives, on one hand, the colors of the grid, and, on the other, the numbers and icons. Let's break down each element. The colors signify the varying levels of local demand. Pale green hues indicate a low demand, while the deeper greens suggest an average demand level. A light blue color points to good demand, and a darker blue suggests high demand. Gray signifies that a specific date cannot be booked. If this is not your intended setting, you may need to adjust your PMS or booking platform configurations to make them accessible. If you apply date-specific overrides at the property level, they will be represented by a dark gray bar stretching across the selected dates. However, if these overrides are set at an account or group level, they will be marked by a dark gray triangle positioned in the top right corner of the respective date. Let's look at the numbers and icons side of things. The large bold number is the price of the property in your selected currency. This is the final price that is being pushed to booking platforms, like Airbnb or VRBO, or your PMS. To know more you can hover over the prices and see the breakdown of how each price point was arrived at. The top right corner mentions the date of the month. The top left corner shows the minimum nights required to book this date. The day of the check-in is denoted by a key in a gray circle. If the date is booked, it is indicated by a gray circle on the top left side. A red triangle with an exclamation mark inside indicates that this date is unbookable. This might be because of conflict in settings in Price Labs. To prevent an unbookable date, you need to either set a different minimum stay or define an orphan gap. For multi-unit properties, for example, identical apartments within one building, we show a filled, partially filled, or unfilled pie icon to denote what percentage of the overall similar units have been booked. You can use the three dots menu to manage what type of data you want to see on your calendar. You can easily check or uncheck the elements to show on your pricing calendar. If you check, show booking info, it will show the icons for check-in days and book days on the calendar. By default, this is checked. If you check, show unbookable, it will show the unbookable dates on the calendar with a gray color grid. This is also checked, by default. If you have multiple properties in your portfolio, you can also access this view by going to the multi-calendar page and manage multiple calendars at once. There's another change you will see in the dynamic pricing page in the new version. In the neighborhood data tab, we have now added your booking data for enhanced insights. This is the future prices chart. This chart visually shows how your recommended prices compare with the average prices in the market. The future prices chart now includes two additional elements, your upcoming bookings as green lines and your last year bookings as blue lines in the chart. Your upcoming bookings tells you your average daily rate and the dates of future bookings. Your last year bookings shows the average daily rate and bookings dates during the same period in the previous year. Now, you can compare the market trends with your own property's history and upcoming bookings. That's it for this month's product updates.